This season, I'm directing two Shakespeare plays, Love's Labour's Lost and Much Ado About Nothing. They're two of Shakespeare's greatest comedies, and there's a lot of humour in them, wit, real, really funny stuff. When I was asked to, to do these two shows, uh, Greg Doran put it to me that it might be interesting to set them either side of the First World War, because obviously we're commemorating the war this year, and the two plays do seem to suit that period very, very well. There's something idyllic and golden and wonderful about the, the, um, the world of Love's Labour's Lost. Everything seems to be perfect, rather in the manner of the sort of the Edwardian summer that probably never was, but we like to imagine the perfect Edwardian summer before the war. Um, and the dark side of the play at the end, when the princess learns of her father's death, seems to be very much in keeping with um, the, the ominous um, early days of the First World War and going off, the men going off to war. And then we have the soldiers coming back from war in Much Ado, and that, of course, fits perfectly with that world of 1918, 1919, and the beginning of, of, a, of a very... Um, the bright young things, really, the, the beginning of, of a whole new social order. Um, everything's changed. At the moment, the plan is to put them into a stately home. Both plays take place on an estate, um, and so this estate will be as a, a, an English stately home. The characters, there's the, the family who live there, and also visitors, a sort of house party going on. The fabric of the building will remain the same for both plays, but fashions and music, they all change. So hemlines come up and hair, uh, hair goes up for the ladies. They will look completely different, but it's only really a few years apart, but everything did change at that time. It struck me, thinking about these two productions, that they're going to be set either side of the First World War, Edwardian England, 1920s England, and in a, in, and in a great country house. So in a way, it does relate, of course, to Downton Abbey. And it struck me that if you enjoyed Downton Abbey, you're just going to love these two plays. They're being linked together in a really interesting way, I think. Shakespeare did write a play, we believe, called Love's Labour's One, and no one knows really what this play is. Is it possibly a lost play, or is it simply one of his well-known plays under a different title, in the way that Twelfth Night is, also has the title of um, What You Will. Um, so we've decided to be very brave and bold and call Much Ado About Nothing Love's Labour's One. And so we're pairing these two plays, Love's Labour's Lost, Love's Labour's One, but be reassured that Love's Labour's One is the play you all know and love as Much Ado About Nothing. I tell you what I can guarantee from these two shows is that they are very funny, they're very glamorous, and they're really moving. They deal with big emotions, and I think they'll take people on quite a journey. But above all, people will have fun.